After the New England Patriots drafted kicker Justin Rohrwasser in day three of the NFL draft, there was some controversy that was surrounding a three percenters tattoo on his forearm. The three percenters tattoo obviously representing a far right militia movement and white supremacist group. So he was asked about that immediately following by reporters. And here's what he had to say. I, I got that tattoo when I was a teenager and uh, I, I have a lot of family in the military and yeah, I thought it stood for a military support symbol at the time. And obviously it evolved into something that I do not want to represent. And when I look back on it, I, I should have done way more research before I put any mark or symbol like that on my body. And it's not something I ever want to represent. So it, uh, it will be covered. Evan, no follow-ups were asked here to Rohrwasser about this tattoo and whether or not he, how it'll be covered up, why he hasn't already covered it up before getting drafted to the NFL. Do you buy his explanation? Well, I think, listen, he said all the right things, Sierra, and this is all obviously an uncomfortable situation for everybody, not what we want to be talking about right now. But the point of the matter is, is that he's going to have to live with this now if he doesn't get it removed for the rest of his NFL career. There's going to be people talking about it. And it's really surprising to me that the Patriots either did their homework and didn't care or didn't do their homework on all of his tattoos. It's right there on his forearm. So it's hard to believe that they didn't see it beforehand. So I think it's a sticky situation because obviously the kid can kick, right? He's a, he's a great kicker, six foot three, 230 pounds with a huge leg. He's very accurate. He's very clutch in the clutch moments, 14 for 14 in the fourth quarter and overtime in his career. So he can obviously kick. But the problems that always come with that, the secondhand problems that come with his tattoos is is disappointing, to say the least, and something that you almost have to consider above the kicking quality at this point. And you know the rest of the league, the fans and the organizations alike, don't take it easy on the New England Patriots because they have a history of uh, some controversy. But Bill Belichick doesn't usually like the non-football talk around his around his players do you think there's going to be any more fallout from this draft selection oh i'm sure there will be i mean as soon as he gets on the field in an nfl game we got to hope that it's going to be covered up because if it's not that will start an entire you know array on the social media on twitter and stuff like that but even his entire career there's going to be people that are going to bring this up throughout his whole life, really, until the end of his football career. So I definitely think there'll be more pushback about it. The right thing to do, in my opinion, would be for the team to approach him about removing the tattoo and even maybe volunteering to pay for the removal process to really expedite that entire thing and make it clear to him that this is truly what's in the best interest for his football career moving forward and the New England Patriots as an organization. Absolutely. It's also important to consider how his teammates will take to that tattoo and the, what those conversations will be like. But none of his former teammates coming out so far and having any bad words to say about Justin Morewasser. So we'll continue to keep you updated on that situation. But for all of our Patriots draft coverage and coverage of the UDFA signing so far, head to our website at clnsmedia.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Patriots Press Pass.